afternoon everyone. So I was tasked to present uh, the uh, career path, the envisioned career path for reps. So this is uh, particularly for all the uh, sectors, you know, uh, UP research extension and professional staff. So uh, my presentation will cover not only the uh, UPLB, I'll be giving some, siguro, uh, maybe some guide later on para sa uh, paggawa natin ng ating workshop. And of course, uh, earlier, uh, Ma'am Lai said that I'll be presenting the details, but actually I will not be presenting all the details. I'll just give you some uh, uh, maybe guide to uh, go about with the uh, uh, workshop later. So uh, with this, I, I would like to start the presentation and the outline is this. I want to give some historical background of uh, UPLB reps. Kailan ba siya nagsimula? Ganong katanda na yung UPLB reps? And then of course the context uh, uh, which has uh, pertinent provisions in the U new UP uh, charter and then afterwards the guiding principles why should the university consider reps as a as a vital sector of uh, 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 of uh, education and of course the proposal and the reps career path so next slide please historical background so the research and extension R and E functions in UPLB was initially the domain of the faculty. So, alam natin lahat yun. And uh, during that time, the research and extension personnel were hired uh, in a short-term period just to assist the faculty in doing their research and of course to aid in their uh, teaching of our students. But uh, later on, the increasing research in the university compelled the university to engage full-time research and extension staff. So the milestone for the research and extension staff of UPLB came about when IPB was established in 1975. So it's under the College of Agriculture. We know very well that uh, Dr. Javier was the one who uh, spearheaded the establishment of this institute. And the IPB later on generated and produced outstanding research and extension staff that brought to recognition the equal importance of research and extension sector with the teaching staff of the university. So, yun yung sinasabi ni Ma'am uh, May Mendoza kanina uh, because they, they have a very good uh, mentor. Imagine sina Dr. Javier, sina Dr. Ramirez, kung sino-sino pa po. So, doon po nag-start yun. Now, the growing number of research institutes created in UPLB, for instance, the NCPC and Biotech also carry with them the increasing number of research, extension, and professional staff. So, ito pong dalawang institutes na ito ang minention po, aside from IPB, because uh, a lot of our researchers uh, and uh, our, of our reps are stationed at uh, Biotech and NCPC also. And then to address the needs and interests and promote the welfare of the research, extension, and professional staff of UPLB, we have established uh, societies and organizations. And I remember very well uh, the first organization established as the acronym, uh, acronym SHARE. And it was established in 1978. First year ko palang puno as research assistant sa UPLB. So I was a member of SHARE during the time. And I remember also the, the headquarters was uh, the old agronomy building the ASC right now. And uh, of course, in 1983, uh, it, was, it was changed to Concerned Research and Extension Workers, or so-called CREW. And then, nagkakaisang kawani at manggagawa NKM in 1985. So, nagpabago-bago po yung pangalan ng ating uh, rep sector. Now, this was followed by uh, UP Research Extension and Professional Staff Association better known as UPRAPSA in 1987. And uh, this was registered uh, with the Securities and Exchange Commission 
and uh, it was in September 1997 uh, where it was uh, or when it was formally established. So it's uh, a corporation and not incorporated. And then this was followed by the UP Society of Research, Extension and Professional Staff, Incorporated, better known as UP Reps. Ito po yung existing natin na uh, Reps uh, organization in uh, the university. So it was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission on December 11, 2009. Now, uh, at present, uh, UP Reps as a professional organization of academic non-teaching staff continues to address the issues of reps in UPLB. Although marami na pong uh, uh, bases, uh, including this one, uh, there was previous reps conference, and before that, so many uh, seminars, meetings were held uh, to address our uh, issues, and of course, maybe uh, get some solution para sa magandang welfare natin. Marami mo uh, pa rin pong pakikibaka ang kailangan natin gawin. Now, in uh, uh, the BOR and its 754th meeting, approved the resolution classifying academic staff into teaching and non-teaching staff. So, yung pong teaching, yung po yung faculty, non-teaching staff are the reps. The academic non-teaching staff, or ANS, is composed of research personnel, professional extension workers, professional librarians, guidance counselors, and techni uh, technical specialists. Now, the current term reps, research, extension, and professional staff was adopted during the 954th BOR meeting on October 22, 1982 to replace the term ANS, or academic non-teaching staff. The term reps is more descriptive, according to them, it's more descriptive of the nature and scope of work, function, activities of the personnel. The academic nature of reps was further upheld by the Supreme Court on uh, July 14, 1992. So, kailangan po talagang i-classify tayo as academic staff. Now, uh, what are the context or uh, pertinent provisions in the new UP Code? <clears throat> So, the purpose of the university, as uh, mentioned before by some of our speakers, as a nat uh, national university, a public and secular institution of higher learning, and a community of scholars dedicated to the search for truth and knowledge, as well as the development of future leaders, the University of the Philippines shall perform its unique and distinctive leadership in higher education and development. The university shall lead in setting academic standards and initiating innovations in teaching, research, and faculty development in philosophy, the arts and humanities, the social sciences, the professions and, engin uh, and engineering, natural sciences, mathematics, and technology, and maintain centers of excellence in such disciplines and professions. Letter B, serve as a graduate university by providing advanced studies and specialization for scholars scientists, writers, artists, and professionals, especially those who serve on the faculty of state and private colleges and universities. Letter C, serve as a research university in various fields of expertise and specialization by conducting basic and applied research and development and promoting research in various colleges and universities and contributing to the dissemination and application of knowledge. Letter D, lead as a public service university by providing various forms of community, public, and volunteer service, as well as scholarly and technical assistance to the government, the private sector, and civil society while maintaining its standards of excellence. Uh, letter F, uh, provide opportunities for training and learning in leadership, responsible citizenship, and the development of democratic values, institution, and practice through academic and non-academic programs, including sports and the enhancement of nationalism and national identity. Now, uh, for the academic excellence, Section 6, the National University has the responsibility to maintain and enhance its high academic standards in the performance of its functions of instruction, research, and extension, and public service. And as part of this, uh, 
uh, Section 7, Commitment to National Development. The national university shall harness the expertise of the members of each community and other individuals to regularly study the state of the nation in relation to its quest for national development in the primary areas of politics and economics, among others, identify key concerns, formulate responsive policies regarding these concerns, and give advice and recommendations to the Congress as well as to the President of the Philippines. Now, uh, this portion of the uh, Section 7 is uh, very, maybe it's very vital. Uh, I think we have to analyze it later when we are doing the workshop. I don't know if it will help us. So, I'm, I'm not sure. So, to appoint faculty members and other officials and employees to draw up a position classification and compensation plan for its faculty and staff. And uh, any law, to the contrary, notwithstanding, to fix and adjust salaries and benefits of the faculty members and other employees. Uh, as far as I know, uh, we are now a government-owned uh, and controlled corporation because of our new charter after 100 years of uh, the establishment of UP. So, uh, if I will interpret it, uh, maybe what I will say is uh, UP is given the right no, by the government or the law of the land to craft our uh, hiring of uh, faculties and uh, staff and also maybe to set a nomenclature on how our salaries and incentives will be uh, prepared in the university without any uh, without any help from the government. So, in other words, uh, I will interpret it as uh, to be exempted from the so-called salary standardiz uh, standardization law. But right now, I think uh, we are still in the hands of the uh, Department of Budget because our salaries are uh, based on the uh, salary standardization law and of course uh, as far as the reps are concerned uh, the uh, nature of our uh, of our uh, appointment or even the uh, items that we have is very different from the faculty because in the faculty they have uh, somewhat uh, parallel parallel no? yung sa kanila so that means uh, uh, if they are in the uh, lower uh, level, if they go up, they carry it as, uh, as said by uh, Dr. Mendoza. So they grow with the item. But in the case of the faculty, ours is uh, just like a pyramid. Kokonti po yung nasa taas. That's why, uh, as he also said, na kailangan uh, mag-resign muna or kaya mag-retire. Or worst scenario, <laughs> okay, so ganun po yung sistema ng ating uh, items sa uh, rep sector. So it's really difficult for us to go up the ladder. So kailangan po uh, maraming mawala sa taas para marami rin umakyat. And of course, uh, that is coupled with the very stick uh, uh, criteria for promotion. Uh, tama po yung sabi nila, uh, our promotion guidelines as compared to other CUs. Uh, is more stringent. So, talagang mahirap ang makyat. Now, uh, punta po tayo sa guiding principles why the reps should also be considered as a very vital part of the uh, UB system. So, the research extension and professional staff or reps is an integral part of the academic sector that performs functions and responsibilities indispensable to the leadership role of university in higher education and translating its commitment to national development. The REF's functions complement the university's mandate of instruction by contributing to knowledge production through programs, projects, and activities in research, training and extension, and public service. Uh, the REF's as an academic sector is vital resource that must be fully harnessed to pursue 
and sustain the university's funding. So, kailangan po talaga magtulungan tayo. Not only the faculty, but also the rep sector and even the admin sector. Now, uh, these are the uh, uh, proposal on the rep's career path. Actually, my source was the uh, uh, draft proposal of the uh, UP Academic Employees Union. Uh, that was done in uh, December 2009. I don't know why this was not uh, taken up. No? Uh, it's quite a long time already, 2009. So I was part of this when it was being drafted and even Mam Lai was there. So may lang po ito siguro lumabas. Okay, so uh, number one, you have to recognize the ref sector as belonging to the academic staff sector as provided for in the UP faculty manual which states that the academic staff of the university shall be classified as teaching staff, or faculty, and non-teaching staff. Next, we have to retain the REF's classification as part of the academic staff sector. And number three, cluster the occupational groups from the nine, uh, current nine groups to the proposed three groups as follows. So, uh, ito pong na under sa letter A, ito po yung alin na uh, groups no? or sectors under the uh, research and extension. So, they will be clustered into one cluster. And this is composed of university research group, university extension service group, science education group, law education group, law reform group, and development management group. Now, uh, the letter B, Information, Knowledge, and uh, Archive Management Group. This is composed of the li Library Science Group and the Museum Service Group. And then the last group or cluster is Professional Service Group, composed of Guidance Service Group, Medical, and Allied Group. Now, uh, for number four, uh, create new position title or nomenclature to be applied to the research and extension group combined as one group. So, ang mangyayari po dito, ang proposal po ng UP Academic Employees Union ay pagsamahin ng research and extension group. This requires converting all position titles under each occupation group into the following position titles. So, uh, position title one po uh, is uh, University Research and Extension Associate level 1, and the proposed salary grade is 14. So, yun po yung sinasabi kanina, hindi na dapat ang ating salary grade ng uh, acceptance as uh, reps ay SG12. Masyado na ba mababa yun. And then, followed by uh, URIA level 2. So, yun na po yung magiging uh, salary grade 16. And then, University Research and Extension Specialist Level 3 po yun, that's grade 18. University Research and Extension Specialist, uh, level 4, grade 20. And then followed by University Research and Extension Specialist, level 5, grade 22. University Research and Extension Officer, level 6, that is grade 24. And then uh, so on until we reach University Research and Extension Officer, uh, level 9 equivalent to salary grade 30. Now, the new occupational group of research and extension service recognizes the interactive link of the functions of research, training, and extension which are performed by the reps in an integrated and holistic manner and thus ensures a scientific approach to knowledge transfer and learning. Now, for the other group, the Library Science Group, uh, this was uh, the uh, proposal. Again, uh, uh, we have the Library and Information Assistant, Level 1, at salary grade 14. And uh, the last, which has a salary grade of uh, 30, is Library and Information Officer, Level 3. So, yun na po, uh, goes up the ladder. Now, uh, Library Science Group, uh, this is an additional proposal for them. One is to remove the salary grade 24 ceiling 
Alam po naman natin ang refs ay talagang SG24 lang pinakamataas. Uh, I think there is only one uh, subgroup which has a salary grade of uh, 25 and it belongs to the law reform group. Yun lang po ang nakakaabot ng salary grade 25. Now, number two, provide enabling conditions that will encourage or open avenues for professional development like full-time scholarship or fellowship, program uh, for studies, research, publications, uh, fund, and support. Uh, the last is the guidance service group. Ito po yung nakuha ko na uh, proposal before, but unfortunately, hindi naka-indicate kung ano yung mga salary grades. But I suppose yung senior guidance counselor nila will be equivalent to salary grade 30. Kasi medyo iba yung nomenclature ng sa guidance counselor. Medyo mas higher po yung kanilang uh, entry level. Tama ba ako, Janet? Entry level, mas mataas na. Grade 18? Uh, okay. okay. Now, uh, next is to adapt a unified compensation structure for the academic staff. Inclusive po yun, sa faculty sector po yun. By setting the respective minimum entry and the mini, uh, maximum salary grade levels for all occupational groups of the academic non-teaching staff corresponding to the salary grade levels of the academic teaching staff. So, yun na po yun para meron tayong parallelism na sinasabi. Now, this is to be provided for in the university, uh, revised university-wide position and compensation plan. So, ang ating pong target, siguro mamaya sa workshop, is to have a revised university-wide position and compensation plan na pwedeng sunda na rep sector. Now, number six, uh, grant automatic promotion to reps who obtain PhD, similar or equivalent to the automatic promotion given to the teaching staff faculty upon completion of PhD in accordance with the rules of re uh, and regulations promulgated by the Board of Regents. So, meron naman pong promulgation pala yung Board of Regents noon eh. So, dapat mayroon tayong automatic promotion. I think uh, the reason why it wasn't uh, done in our uh, sector is because of the lack of the available items, lalo na yung pagmataas na. Now, uh, allow reps occupying position titles with salary grades of 20 and above to hold managerial director level positions of units, offices, programs, or projects relevant to their areas of expertise as an additional function. So, uh, isa lang po yung suggestion din, ano, ng uh, Aka Junior. So, this is my presentation. Maraming pong salamat.